In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to create a pie chart in Affinity Designer or Affinity Publisher. Here I have my finalized pie chart. So how did I create this? First of all, I placed my JPEG as a sample image because I would like to show the percentage of the social media channels most people find useful when they research a product before visiting a local small business. Here you can see Facebook had 62%. Now I need to find out the degrees in order to create my pie chart. The reason is the following. Neither publisher nor Affinity Designer has the option to create a pie chart automatically. This is the reason why you have to do your own math to get your degrees. Here I have Facebook at 62%. What I did is I took 62% times 3.6. It gives me the angle degree for the pie chart. Pinterest 12% times 3.6 equals 43 degree and so on. Now, if you only have values to create the degrees, the math is a bit different. Then you take 360 times your partial value divided by the total value. This will give you your angle degree for the pie chart. In my case, I follow this rule. First, I delete my chart. I go over here and I can see I have my pie tool already selected. Hold down your shift key by dragging your pie. Then I go into swatches. And I got rid of my white stroke color in my case. It may be black in your case. Make it transparent. Select your fill color that it's up front and choose your first color. In my case, it would be a silver or a gray. I have a silver here already prepared. If it's too dark, I get my color picker, move over the gray I like and confirm it. Now I'd like to have the first angle. This is easy since it's 22 degrees. I always start with the smallest angle. And I type it in up here where I have total angle 270. I type in 22 and confirm it by pressing the enter key. Here is my first piece of my pie chart. Then I have to duplicate that piece. Command J or Control J. It made an exact duplicate on top of my gray chart. Then I take my end angle which is 112. Go over here to my start angle and I type the exact same number 112 in my space and I click the enter key. Of course, when the start angle and the end angle are the same, it gives me a total angle again of 360. Then I go up to Instagram and I type in 33, enter and I already have my second piece of my pie chart. This time I use my color picker, go over my blue and confirm it. Same procedure, Control J or Command J to make an exact duplicate. Select my end angle at 145. Again, I get my 360 degrees angle, fills it up, which is correct. Then I type in 40 degrees for Twitter. Total angle, type in 40, enter. I would like to get my cyan and again, color picker, selected, confirm. Same procedure, Command J, Control J to make a duplicate. Again, take the end angle, in my case 185, enter, fills it up again, and I get my next degree for Pinterest, which is 43. Type it in, 43, enter. I have a red which matches. Again, Command J, Control J to make a duplicate. Take the end angle, in my case 228, enter, and get my last degree, which is 223 in my case. Enter to confirm. Get my Facebook blue and here is my pie chart. Now my second goal is to select the whole pie chart, group it and add on a white line. Either I select my pie chart here in my layers, hold down the shift key, select all my pieces and go up to group. Another possibility would be select my blue, hold down the shift key, select my red, select my Twitter blue, select my Instagram blue and my gray and I go up here and I say group. Now I would like to add on a white stroke color, go up here, select my stroke color which is transparent at the moment and add on white. Of course I can change the width and my second choice would be to add on some effects, going to effects, I think an outer shadow would be interesting, add on offset, change to opacity and my pie chart is ready to go. This is my personal way how to create pie charts in Affinity since I don't have an option to create them automatically. In my next tutorial I will show you how to create bar charts.